Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a bit of a different video. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a car from the 1930s. Please enjoy. Okay, this drawing is going to be from a 2D perspective, and I'm going to be using an eraser shield, a sharp pencil, and an eraser, and obviously a sketchbook. That's all you're going to need to draw a 1930s automobile in this video. So, I'm not an expert, and I doubt that if you're watching this video, you're not an expert because it's how to draw a car from the 1930s, after all. But I always start with the fender. Just a simple curve right there, you can see. And then I'm gonna make a curve inside the curve. And you're going to want to make this curve a little bit, give this a little bit more room between here than in here and here. That's just how the cars are. And now that we have our fender here, this is our front fender, we can move on to the front. And there is our front grill. As you can probably tell now, you might be starting to see an automobile. Now here I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add a bit of a hint of the grill being there. And there it is, as you can see. Now all you need to do to make the grill look like a grill is you're just going to shade it in just a little bit. And there you are. You have part of that. And obviously, we're missing the headlight. So we're going to make the headlight like this. I'm sorry, that's not right. Let me try again. This is why you need an eraser shield. Because I don't want to mess up that beautiful grill I got. Okay. All right, now I'm going, I remember how to do this now. So we're going to do this. It's not gonna look much like a headlight at first, but hang on, we're getting there. We'll just do a little bit right there. Okay, I've messed that up. Obviously this takes a couple of tries. Not an easy thing to do, even if you know these cars by heart. And if you don't know these cars very well, here's my advice. Have a picture of one right next to you. I don't have a picture of one right next to me right now because I have these cars basically memorized. And I've done this for a while. But if you're just starting out do, drawing these, then you're going to want to have a picture of whatever you're drawing right next to you. And here I'm just going to start getting more detail. Extend that down. So here we have a bit of the hood here. And that's not a perfectly straight line. But and if I really wanted to make this perfect, i just, you know, erase that and start over. But at the moment I'm not that interested in perfection. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to make it indent just a little bit out. And now, we can start on the rest of the car. You're going to have a slant windshield here, because we're doing a 30s, not a 1920s. The 1920s would be straight up and down. This is a 1930s, we're getting slightly slanted. And there you have your roof, part of it anyway. And it's a little tall. I might shorten it a bit in a minute here, but this is just to give you a general idea. Okay, I'm not liking this curve here. It's a little not curved quite enough, so I'm going to fix that. Got to fix that too.
don't be scared to make mistakes because you probably are going to make a lot. I made quite a few my first time doing this. I mean, even any professional artists, they are going to make a mistake too. And that's why, you know, like painters have to paint over stuff. And it's why the eraser exists. All right, that's a little bit more realistic. Now, you might not be able to tell the difference, but trust me, that's a lot more realistic. And I'm just going to add a bit of the windshield in here. I got to do a little touch up and racing there, but as you can see, now you can get the windshield here. And obviously, we have your trunk back here. And hang on, let me just fix this line. Okay, looking pretty good for starters. And now. So one thing that I have a lot of trouble with myself personally is the doors. Doors and me have not gotten along super well. So I'm just going to use this eraser shield because it's kind of flat. This one's actually turning out pretty good this time. Usually it takes me about um, 10 tries to get the door or something. Okay, so there's your outline for your door, and here we just need to cut off where the glass is going to be. And I'm not aiming for perfection here. And this little detail right here, they have always had these little slant windows you can open up to let in some breeze. It's your 1930s air conditioning. just gonna work a bit more on the body down there and I'm going to fix that line right there now so don't try to be perfect when you're doing this for the first time just do what you can now I'm gonna add in a second little line in here just to get a little bit more realistic you see that's where the glass would be. And obviously this isn't a complete accurate automobile, but it's pretty close. And so why don't we get that second door, just got to space it out just right. Sorry about the background noise, if you hear that. I still live with my parents and stuff, so. Okay, that door is right there. See what I'm talking about? Me and doors not getting along so well. That door is a little... A little bit short, so we're going to make it a little wider. That looks better. It's not perfect, but better. All right. I'm just going to work on the rear fender right now because I want to break from the doors. Probably gonna have to redo that in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna redo that right now. And I probably should be using an eraser shield. So I'm gonna add, but I have some experience so I can control the eraser pretty well. Now some of these impressions in the paper are not going to go away in this paper for some reason. I don't have really a lot of sketch paper 
in general. Alright, that's looking a lot better. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not quite tall enough. Gonna make it a little bit taller. Then I'm gonna get in here. Make a few corrections. That's not perfect, but I'll iron out that in just a second. Right now I'm gonna get back to this door. I jump around a lot on these projects. And it's okay if you do that. I mean, it's not exactly just, you know, focus on one area at a time. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but it's not exactly just my style. Let's get back in here. more corrections all right just had a little door handle here and it doesn't need to be fancy just a little thick line and what I'm gonna do next is add in details for where the glass is gonna be Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure you can see the car. And now I'm just going to do a little tail light here. And all you need to do here is just make it a little thick at the edge to make it look like there's something sticking out there. And now this is not a hot rod, so I'm going to do bumpers here. And bumpers are pretty simple. All you need really is just a curved edge. Hang on, let me fix that so you can see what I'm talking about. Curved, you can see it's a little curved there. I'm gonna put one right back here. And because of the way I did this fender, I'm just going to put a little to show that it's supported. All right. Now, obviously, this isn't perfect, and I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit more. But I think we're done. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot. We have to have our little in indent on the hood here. We have to make the hood visible. So... Here we're gonna do the hood. And I'm just doing a standard design here. Just do a little curve. So for the hood, you're gonna to want to do a little curve at the top, going down into a straight line. And you're just gonna have that kind of disappear into the fender. Now over here, we're gonna go up, get in a little bit of a straight line. We gotta make the top look a little curved because that's how they are on these cars. Okay, so now you can start to see the the hood. I'm just going to do that to make it look a little bit more realistic because that's where the hood would bend. And now we need to add a little indent. So sometimes these cars will just have little, um, little vents on the side. Just needs to let the engine kind of breathe in there. Or you can dress it up real fancy. And I'm feeling fancy today, so I'm just going to show you... I'm just going to show you both what... So here, I'm just going to do... This This is a little design I like to do on these cars whenever I draw them. I just... That would probably be chrome right there. 
you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to put a little circle and just do a little scratch where like a letter would be for an emblem or something. Make that a little bit more thick. And just shade in between the lines. And there you have that. Yep, I'm getting a little white over here. I'm gonna fix that. So there's the fancy type. And now I'm just gonna show you the ever type. Just a little, like little four. Four little vents right there. Okay, so that's the general idea of the car, and I'm just going to clean up a few more things here. Get in there, clean up. That line's got to go. not perfect i need to clean it up a little bit more but that's the general idea of how to draw a sedan from the 1930s and the only other car that we need to really show you how to do is trucks well i need to not we so i'll be back in just a minute okay now we're going to do the truck so rather to bore than bore you death of all the redrawing the entire thing i just went ahead and did a quick sketch of a part of the truck and it's basically the same as the car we did before, but I'm gonna show you what makes the differences between the truck and the car. So what you're gonna do here, instead of extending the cab really long, you're just gonna end it real short right here. Just like that. And now, so in all 1930s, if it's a stock truck, it's gonna be a short bed. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Draw kind of a box back here. And this makes the truck very, trucks very easy to draw. Because it's just a box back there. There's not much to it. And working on the fender here. And this isn't 100% accurate, and we're not aiming to go 100% accurate, we're just aiming to get a decent idea. So you get in here, kind of just fix some of the mistakes, overlaps, whatever you want to call them. That most of this fender is actually just pretty bad. I'm just gonna try that again. And the reason I'm not using an eraser shield is right now is because a box is very easy to draw. There we go. Much better. Much better. All right. And now you're just going to add the back bumper and the back bumper is going to be a lot more square because this is a work truck. It's not anything fancy. Trucks and fancy don't really go together, at least in the 30s. And now, as you can see, there's, if you are very observant of old trucks like this, you're going to notice that there's a few problem right here. And that is simply that they had a curve right there, and we're just going to make it look a little... Just going to fix that, shade it in a little bit right there. And actually, I need to erase that line, because that is just way too bent.
All right, now we'll add the little tail light here. The tail lights are going to be a bit smaller. Then you add your little gas cap. It's not very complicated. I almost forgot the door, door hinge, old door handle. You can put hinges in if you want to, but I'm not going to get to that this video. And there you have it. That's how you draw cars from the 1930s. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, please remember that history belongs to God. It's his story.